today we're having a look at that fat bike. What'd you call me? Sorry, I didn't mean my to. My name's Wednesday. Uh, What's my name? Wednesday. I'm, I'm sorry. What's up, everyone? So today we're gonna check out the Surly Wednesday fat bike. In my opinion, this is actually a great all-around, all-season bike if you don't mind riding something a little bit different. Surprisingly, it's not as heavy as you would think it would be. I mean, I ride a lot of downhill bikes. Getting this thing on the trail is actually surprisingly fun for having tires that are 3.6 inch wide. It's kind of fun to whip around the trail. You've got big enough tires to soak up the bumps and you really don't need any suspension, even though it's a rigid frame. This one has mechanical disc brakes. Really, this bike is very easily maintained and easy to keep up with. Now, the newer models move to upper end of the SRAM Eagle SX drivetrain that goes up to a 12 speed. This is actually a one by 10. Um, originally it was a two by 10 and I took the single off and just moved it specifically to the one by 10. It's not a bad climber. I mean, it's for the right terrain. I think this would be really good. Obviously you don't want to be doing anything super technical, but to be honest, I wouldn't mind riding this thing year round. We've ridden a few fat bikes in the winter on the snow with some studded tires. With the studded winter tires, it helps you maintain a lot of control on pretty slick ice. I imagine up north like Marquette, or uh, Wisconsin or something like that, this bike would be absolutely perfect. Here in Colorado, we get a lot of snow in the winter, especially like Telluride, Gunnison, over towards the Denver area. So fat bike is quite enjoyable on the kind of the off mountain bike season. People underestimate the fun that you can have on a fat bike. I've ridden it on regular single track trails. Um, great for backpacking, like backcountry cycling. It's got plenty of options to carry any saddle bags or pack bags on the bike itself. Compared to my downhill bikes, you know, it's not really actually that heavy. I imagine once you start stacking on all your bags and weight and tents and everything, it's going to start getting weighted down. For something that would be backcountry riding, some rolling hills, this bike is actually a great option. The one major thing is with the wider tires, stopping power is quite interesting compared to like, let's say a normal mountain bike, 2.6 inch wide, like 29er or 27.5. Obviously most trail bikes and enduro bikes will have like super huge brakes. These actually stop really well. I mean, these are really not meant to just barrel over the trails and go high speed. It's actually quite fun to go over the rolling hills and jumps on this. You'd be quite surprised how fun it actually can be. It is a 26er. Tires are 26 by 3.8. They're not terribly expensive, but running them up tubeless is a little interesting. Obviously, you've got to get a whole other roll of tubeless or rim tape. For them being that wide, it's quite fun just on regular single track. I don't take this on a double black diamond, let's say that's an intricate trail. <laughs> this monster might take your breath away, quite literally. The Surly Wednesday is actually a great all-arounder bike. Obviously, Surly themselves, you can see it on their website, they're blatant about what this is for. Basically, a backcountry snow bike. It's awesome on the snow, especially with studded snow tires, shreds ice and stays right on it. Obviously, the more wet and slushy the snow is, it gets quite like an ice skating rink, uh, no matter what you're on. <laughs> the wider tire is gonna help you have a good stance on the snow. With the bikes that are moving to the group sets with the 12 speed, nice gearing with the, the bigger cassettes that you've got really good low gearing for climbing hills, really good uh, gearing for doing some rolling or jumps. I imagine this would be absolutely perfect for somebody that's like up in the upper peninsula of Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, where there's a lot of snow in the winter time, where you get a lot more uh, winter season, fall season than we do here. I highly recommend checking out the Surly Wednesday and you can see all the links below. I'll link to Surly's website where you can kind of see all the specs. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a good one. Get out there and ride. See ya.